Lights, camera, action. Welcome to Movie Makers, a 13 plus podcast from Movie Access Amoeba. I am your host, Brandon Horvath, and with me are my co hosts, Brandon Phalanger. Hey, it's been a minute since we had one of these. And a guy, Stokely. You. What's yeah, up? I think I may have one, potentially two videos up, so. You may have gotten new content last week, but we haven't done one of these since September, maybe October. I think October. Mm, yeah. So I'll just put it here <laughs> at the beginning of this podcast. Since it is technically movie related, did you guys hear Terry Graham died? No, I also don't know who that is. Monty Python. You did mention that someone from there died. I don't know if you gave me the name at that point. I don't think I mentioned it because I just found out yesterday. Then maybe I saw it in like a passing article. I'm not the hugest Monty Python. Oh, he's this guy. Okay. To know who he played in Holy Grail... But I did hear he was it wasn't Sir Robin. mother in Life of Brian. Mm-hmm. He he wasn't. Um, oh, fuck. I think he's the one that said he soiled his armor. I can't remember which one that was. But he's the one I think soiled his armor. He must have been at least one other character in that. Um, hold on. Let me let me double check. I could be wrong, but let me double check. Uh. Oh, he was part of the Knights of Knee. He was one of them. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Terry Gillum as Patsy, the oh. Green Knight, the old man from scene 24, Sir Bors, the animator, and... Gr- no, no, never mind. That's Terry Gillum. Why did he come up? Yeah, you called... You said it was Graham. Yeah, I typed in Graham and Gillum came up first. So did you get the name wrong? No, it seems that IMDB misunderstood what I want. No, I'm looking on IMDB. I don't see Terry Graham listed at all. I don't see anyone with the last name Graham. There's a Gloria Graham. Oh, there's bells. Somebody has to go outside. I have a puppy. That That's the reason. Yeah, there's only one Graham here, and that's Gloria Graham. I don't see any Terry Graham. Yeah, ter- it says Terry Jones is dead at 77. And that was in what, the 22nd, so that was three days ago. It was Terry Jones. Crap. Wow. Wow, great job. Well, Insulting a dead man. Well, his middle name, it was, it was Terrence Graham Terry Jones. I don't know, man. I think you're just trying to cover your ass now. Terry Jones from Monty Python. <laughs> he played the mother, Sir Bedivere. That's the one. He played Sir Bedivere. Um... He apparently was the left hand, which I don't know which one that is. Was that like the drawing hand from the animation, yes. maybe? Um, he was Prince Herbert and the voice of the cartoon scribe. <laughs> now, now I kind of feel bad for... <laughs> I showed you how much of a Monty Python fan I am. I, I know a few Monty Python sketches... And Holy Grail, and that's about all I know. I mean, I'm always the one that, like, I don't remember the actors so much as I remember the character they played. So, that's my excuse for never remembering names for people. It's the same thing with artists that do, like, music. I generally won't remember the name unless it's hammered into my brain, but I'll remember the song itself. But the the song name and the band usually slip my mind. 
and unless it's a big name animator, I don't remember like manga creators that much. How dare you forget forget a Rocky and his stands? Hey, Rocky is one of them. <laughs> I always will remember. <laughs> or, uh, okay. Go watch part four. Like, Toriyama, R- Rocky, and Orbuchi are like the three ones I do know. Uh. Oh my god. Okay, so we haven't done this in a while, so I will give you guys, a quick refresher, and to you, the audience, if this is the first time watching, we have 10 random words. Brandon will roll a four-sided die, and whatever comes up, we will need to make a movie title out of those. And then we outline the movie. Hopefully, it won't be one. Because... Those will be interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Um, I could maybe see things here, but... Uh-oh. I'm scared. Okay, the words are secret, premium, goblin, unlimited, sisters... <laughs> Woolen, right, cake, royal, sloppy. Oh, I really want to use goblin somehow. Yes, yeah, I really want to use goblin. Sloppy right. go. Let's roll this. Let's roll this four sided die. Ooh, we have a three. So we have three. The secret royal goblin. I was going to go with, like, the secret premium goblin. He's the one that's in charge of everything and is starting to make you buy all of the all the overpriced DLC. And he's just a CEO of a company. He's not an actual goblin. He's just a money ho- like money hungry. Hmm. Now that's too real. <laughs> the sloppy goblin cake. Um, let me see here. Ooh, ooh. The secret woolen uh, goblin. We could we could do something like that where it's like um, he's trying to blend in with um, sheep with like sheep, right? And it's his desperation to blend in with sheep because he's the only one. But mother, I want to be a sheep. He's the he's the last of his species, and he desperately wants to be a freaking sheep. That's it. He, he desperately wants to blend in and you know find people that like him. And the sheep are the ones. He enjoys eating grass and just blankly staring at things. And he likes to go on madcap adventures <laughs> with his sheepdog friend. And it obviously has to be set in Wales because it's sheep. <laughs> I did hear they're making a sequel to Sean the Sheep. Oh my god. I'm not sure if it came out yet. Um, we we could do the secret royal goblin where uh, I'm I'm actually kind of stealing this here, but we could clearly like flare it. Like the main idea is stolen, but like the idea could be flared out where it's like um, goblins, let's say, just live in like a separate dimension or something, right? And this one got booted for whatever reason, and now he's got to somehow find his way home and doesn't want to tell anyone that he's royalty. Huh. Like I said, technically that was taken from a D&D campaign, but we can tweak it to make it work for our own purposes. Um, oh my god. <laughs> this is only two, but the Goblin Sisterhood. The Goblin <laughs> Sisterhood, yeah. That's uh, unlimited <laughs> royal cake. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I have it. I have it. All right. It, it 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 in fact is a a um a, it's an adventure tale to find like a genie's lamp or something, right? And the wish is to like solve world hunger or something. And the way the genie twists it is it makes like a single slice of cake 
that constantly regenerates. <laughs> Dude, that would yeah. Oh, um, what? We're taking that from. We're taking that from freaking Gravity <laughs> Falls. From, yes, where it was the slice of pizza. We're taking oh, that idea. Yes, it, the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing was right with that one. It was only ever Seuss that would allow it to regenerate. He has to eat it. Anyone <gasps> else, it won't work. <laughs> In this case, everyone can work with it, and all of a sudden it creates a problem for everyone, because now everyone wants a piece of cake, and it constantly regenerates. We could make this even worse if, like, somebody eats the whole cake, it regenerates in their stomach. Oh. And that means that they have to pass it through their system before it'll come out to be eaten again. Ew. <laughs> it can make it worse. Oh my god, this vanilla icing, it's chocolate now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, what have we decided on? <laughs> the, there's so many yes. here. I don't even want to add ideas because we have good ones right here. <laughs> um, man. Uh, what about... Oh, wait. Oh, man. So, we have the cake and the Goblin Sisters hood. Is that it? <laughs> the Goblin Sisterhood. <laughs> oh, God. No, that's all, the the sisterhood's only two. We'd have to add in something else to make it a three. Okay. Um. <laughs> wait, what about what about um the unlimited goblin sisterhood, right? And it just it's just goblin Amazons. <laughs> oh, what if what if the unlimited goblin sisterhood had a bakery? <laughs> <laughs> The Goblin Sisterhood cake. Yes. Um, well, or cake of the Goblin Sisterhood. Yeah. She com- why not combine both ideas? <laughs> we could. Okay. Screw it. Cake <laughs> Goblin Sisterhood. Perfect. We take the main idea of them searching for like a magic lamp or something, but it's now the Goblin Sisterhood. <laughs> yes. Looking for unlimited food. W- will they interact? With humans, we're like, uh, what are you doing? We're looking for a cake. Well, I mean, are we setting this in, like, a goblin world? Or are we setting this in, like, a D&D world where, like, all of these different species exist? I was half thinking for a minute in 2020 America. I mean, I, I feel like we'd still have to ask if just goblins exist in this or are there other weird creatures? Uh, like we could make it modern. I'm just, I'm just questioning if there's other species besides humans in this case, and that's like the only difference. Like, are there orcs on the street too? Kind of like that recent Will Smith movie. Oh God, that thing, that thing was awful. Kind of like that, but less awful. Where there's like magical. Things within the realm of humans, but we know about them. That's fine. We could do that. Okay. Species are just blended, and you know, it, it, it's D and D where they just don't really care unless you know they have their racist side. We have to have somebody that's racist toward goblins, obviously. If this is the case, you know, we can make it an elf and say that there's some ugly spinoff of you know halflings. Do we do we make a reference to The Witcher? <laughs> Maybe I yeah, haven't we, played we have, the game. A guy with white hair can't... and just fucking like cat eyes walking around with two swords on his back. <laughs> or no, no, he has two guns because this is modern day. He, he has a regular gun and he has a silver bullet shooting gun. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and he's just like a cop taking down somebody. <laughs> like taking down a werewolf or something. Or, you know, robbing a bank. Not robbing a bank, like shoplifting. <laughs> Like something really benign. So. And he just has the the gruff Henry, Henry Cavill voice of just like, you're going to turn that, you're going to give back that wallet you stole, you punk. And it has that, uh, the giant gun. Like oh, from, God. what was that? It wasn't Deadpool. From the uh, Charles Bronson movie, Death Wish. Mm. Where he, he has could. a giant gun. We could do that. No, that's his partner. His partner has that. Yeah. It's that side reference. 
<laughs> um, but what else? Uh, obviously, you've got the racist person. Could be a could be an elf that's all snooty and full of themselves, like elves are high society or something. Um, the elf be the main antagonist of the bakery the Goblin Sisters want to go to, or? I mean, um, are we are we saying that they're going to a bakery? Because I we kind of assumed that like they're going to be looking for. I, I was assuming we we're still going with like the the genie lamp to give them the infinite cake. Oh, I thought you were going for like some magical cake. That well, it becomes magical because of the genie. Wait. Okay, slight slight twist here. It's prophesized of a cake of this magical cake that the Goblin Sisterhood is destined to find. Mm -hmm. And they go on a magical journey to find it. I don't... It kind of falls apart in my mind after that. I'm leaning toward, like, a cross-country trip. Maybe? And I'm meeting crazy people. And here's what I want the ending to be, all right? Here's Here's how I want this to end. They think the genie's in the lamp, like, you know, the classic thing, right? Mm -hmm. Turns out the genie's just some hobo hermit in, like, a backwater area. And they come and they're like, genie, we want, like, we want to have, like, infinite food. He's like, all right, cool, where's your food? And they have just, like, one slice of cake. It's like, all right, cool, man. Like, he's really high on, like, weed constantly. (laughs) He's just like, cool, man. He just, like, touches it. He's like, there you go. Like, it doesn't look any different. And they're just like, what? Just eat it, man. You know, get the munchies. You just <laughs> munch into it and just responds. Just like some high hobo out in the backwater somewhere. <laughs> but will he have, like, the misty leg tail? Yes. He needs to... oh, yes. Awesome. He, awesome. He, he, he also has to be green because he smokes so much weed. <laughs> <laughs> Because he, he's he just, weed green, man. He just emits, like, uh, <laughs> smoke. Yeah, that's the smoke. <laughs> His tail is actually made of, like, weed smoke. <laughs> yes. like the top half is green, the bottom half is weed smoke. Yes! <laughs> and his eyes are just constantly red. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I like this idea already. <laughs> oh god okay so it's prophesized that they will find this magic cake that is destined for the goblin sisterhood and this happened, how, how old is the prophecy that, that's what we gotta ask because if, if this is a sisterhood and it's really fucking shallow is it just like a text on like you know some weird facebook variant um I will potentially say that, but people believe it's like 250 years old, when in fact it may be only like 25 minutes old. Well, that's what I mean. Like, the design of it looks like it's some old manuscript or something (laughs) that somebody made. This is a sisterhood, so I'm going to assume these are like college goblins or something, right? It, it's something that, like, some graphic design kid made up. You know, maybe maybe the kid's, like, a satyr with uh, the goat legs and the half, uh, half-human thing or whatever. Um, but he makes it up, posts it on, like, whatever social media of the day is. They find it, like, oh, my God, somebody found this thing. Ah! <laughs> we got to find this cake. <laughs> but will we have the reveal in the beginning... That it's the satyr just messing with them. We could totally do it. It turns out it starts off as just like a stupid prank. And they completely buy into it hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> because they're all ditzy. And they, uh, yes, yes. Except they actually get the infinite cake somehow. Like, in the end. It's just not as, like, amazing as they first thought. <laughs> like, it, it's intended to be a prank that the satyr never fucking expects to be anything. And maybe we get some cutbacks to the satyr just laughing his ass off, telling his friends about all this bullshit that they're probably doing looking for this shit that doesn't exist. 
And c- could we have, like, them contact the Seder? Kind of like, Johnny, you were right! Well, I mean, here, here's the thing, right? I don't know if the Seder would have, like, you know, put his name out on that, right? No, like, if, like... He, if he's pulling a prank, I don't think he would be the one to do it on his main account. I would think he'd use a different account, uh... like, but under a different name. Shows you how good of a pranker I would be. Yeah, I don't think he'd... Because obviously they'd try to get back to him if he was wrong and beat the shit out of him or something. You know, or get him back in some way. I would think he'd use an alternate account or, you know, make the thing look like that. Like an old manuscript or something and just, like, slide it under their door or something like that. Or tuck it somewhere where they would find it. Hmm. Maybe it starts off a like montage of them bullying the satyr, and then he's like, I want to get my revenge, man. Yes, yes, exactly. That'd be perfect. And it's something really petty that he wants revenge for. Like, it's nothing serious. It's like, you splash soda in my face twice. Yeah, yeah, it's something really fucking stupid. He was going to pick up a quarter on the ground that just fell from, that didn't fall, but like he found it. And then the other sorority, like, or uh, the, the sisterhood goblin grabs it and just takes it with her. It's like, that was my quarter! I saw it first! Will the satyr be an ultra nerd? Um, he could be. He'd probably have to be if he's making up all this shit. He'd have to have be some kind of, like, creative nerd to do it. Um, you know, if, he, if we go to the point where he like he's literally printed up the manuscript on something. What uh, if he the, did spoken word poetry? <laughs> <laughs> he could totally do that. That's how he's able to write all the flowery like prophecy lettering in there. Yeah, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't as good as Pineapple Submarine, but it's in there. <laughs> And look, we could add a pineapple submarine reference in here. <laughs> oh my god, connect the universe! Because we're down in the fucking bayou where the where the uh, the genie's gonna be. There could be just like, you know, just in the background, you get like the pineapple submarine just poking out like the telescope to look around. <laughs> Dude, if he's on the bayou, he needs to like ski on two gators. <laughs> like that's how he gets around. He just has a gator for each leg. No, 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 no. He's got the smoke tail, remember? He's got a gator that he uses as, like, a a surfboard in the swamp. And the gator's got red eyes because he's high, too, because the smoke's constantly hitting him. And they just glow. (laughs) They just glow. Will it be a genie gator? No, no, it'll be a regular gator. Although, he may have enchanted it to talk. Yeah. Will it sound like Wally Gator? We could make it Will Smith Gator. <laughs> what, is, what is this movie called again? <laughs> what, did we change it? Um, Cake of the Goblin Sisterhood. That's what we're going with. I know we had so many projected ideas in the beginning. I know. I'm, I'm going with Cake of the Goblin Sisterhood. I think okay. that's our plan. And they find this dude. They find this dude off of some bullshit manuscript made up by a satyr. That was angry over the petty bullshit. <laughs> and do they learn lessons along the way? Probably like how to not. not be a bitch? No. No, not at all. And in fact, the lesson is don't be a fucking petty piece of shit because they'll show you up. <laughs> they'll somehow make it work through some stupid hijinks. <laughs> They get a ride from a centaur for a while. They just get on his back. <laughs> centaur taxi service. Centaur taxi service. Oh, God, I love that <laughs> idea. Centaurs are just a taxi service. <laughs> just charge. Their meter is on their watch. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you for riding centaur taxi. That'll be $15. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like light on their antlers. You just have Samuel like how, Jackson be the centaur. Like how yes. Weird. <laughs> or, or the Rock. We can make the Rock a centaur. Right, your just destination, for that motherfucker. 
Oh, God. And, of course, brilliant. Samuel L. Jackson would have to write one of his own lines. Of course. Because, um, in Spider-Man Far From Home, the bitch plays, you've been to space. I think Samuel L. Jackson was like, no. I think Nick Fury would actually say this. <laughs> no, no, I want to say this. <laughs> Oh my fucking! It's it's. I love this. Summer. I love this idea so much. It's so stupid. <laughs> and did you hear the rumor that Samuel L. Jackson was going to quit Snakes on a Plane because that was just the working title, and he loved it so much that was the only reason he's in it. No, I have no idea because I don't pay attention to Snakes on the Plane. Yeah, but they were going to change the title to something more official sounding and he's like no if you change it i'm out oh my fucking god it's the best i love this i love this idea so much that we have it's so stupid yes this is going to be one of my favorite like top three <laughs> episodes hold on i'm just writing out the title in here so we have it because uh, we did take sisters and slightly change it, but it works. The cake of the goblin sisterhood. <laughs> what else I can there? imagine this being actually, instead of live action, be like a, a terrible animated 3D. Oh, God. No. no not that. Anything but that. That's it's awful. Going, it's going to be good CGI. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> we, we, you want another connected <sighs> universe? We just have Rick pop in at some point. He's being like, God damn it, this isn't the universe I was looking for, Morty. Will it be all CGI or will it be like the modern Disney live action reimaginings where it's live action backgrounds but everything else is CGI? I'd prefer either we do CGI alone, uh, like on its own, or, uh oh, I don't know what that's about, or we do like, um, um, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? Practical effects, like back makeup and shit. But the goblins will all be short. Well, I mean, like obviously, um. Like, goblin bodies would have to be CGI, but, like, the head and everything would become, um, uh, would be, like, green screened onto the head or whatever. <laughs> or, like, edited on there. I could see green screen being good, but there's also a slight chance it might turn out looking eh. Well, I mean, think about it. Like, it's the same kind of idea. Um, like, we could, I guess you could do technically mocap if you really wanted to. But they've done it before where they've slapped people's, like, heads on shit like that. And it's worked. Was Will Smith in Aladdin green screened or was that mocap? <laughs> I believe that was not CG. I believe it was, like, green screen for him to have the, uh, the tail. Okay, since I've seen a few scenes of that on YouTube, that okay. If it's done like that, I, I think so. It it's well. something like that. It's digitally edited so that way he has like the tail there, okay, but the I rest could, of him is real. I could see that with like a practical effect goblin mask. Mm -hmm. That's what I would be leaning toward. Yeah, it's it's either something like that. Or we'd go, like, full-on animated in some way, whether that's CG or 2D. Um, you know, or anime style or whatever. Oh, oh, what if we did it in the style that Castlevania's in? Like, that kind of a style. Oh! That would look really neat. Would there be, like, in the ancient prophecy, like, the ancient prophecy of Nilbog? It's goblins spelled backwards! Yeah. No, you know what? You know what? We make that reference when we get to the Bayou Town before we get to see the fucking genie. Who's fully in the Bayou. 
Actually, the genie's married to a to a mermaid that's high. <laughs> a swamp mermaid. A swamp mermaid. Well, named Nilbog. No, we're, we're making Nilbog the town right before. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It, it's the last stop on the way to the genie. Yes. Or maybe the sisterhood that they have, they're like because they're college goblins. The sorority is called Nilbog. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's great yes. i think we've got it i think we got i think we got a wrap here obviously there's going to be stuff in between that we haven't outlined yet but that stuff just comes in as we can think of it later yeah um if we ever revisit this idea in some way there's gonna there's got to be references to it somewhere in some of our other shit yeah <laughs> yeah we 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 have a background like as they're going through like say las vegas or something there it says come see the juggler <laughs> oh my god. And he'll be juggling the chainsaw people. Yeah, it's just like a big a big like billboard of just like come see the juggler from the stories. <laughs> and it's just like a a, a a billboard where like there's lights sh- like that slowly blink on and off of like what he's juggling. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> brilliant <laughs> so it seems that the lights are coming on in the theater and the credits are rolling it's, it, yes it's perfect so um <laughs> hopefully we'll be doing these a little bit more often than every four months <laughs> I would ask the audience if they can think of anything else that the uh, the goblin sisterhood would run into on their way uh, you know, to the genie, like any filler that they want to throw in that there in there, I'd be curious. Yeah. Also, that'd probably be like I'm going to assume there's like three goblin sisters in this sisterhood that's going. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They are the chosen ones. Larry, Mo, and Curly. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, I was actually thinking one of them would be Bethany. Bethany. Hey, look, I, I'm just, I'm just saying that was just oh, to name them quickly. Name one of them could totally be Bethany. We will have to revisit this. I don't, even, we didn't even name them. Oh God. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> so until next time, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, something about the bell button. I know that's the thing now. It's been a thing for a while. Oh, um, <laughs> other videos. We should be playing Dark Souls by the time I post this. Um, all the glitches everywhere. We had to discuss anime is coming back in possibly a month ish. So mm-hmm. stay tuned for that. Um, My Hero Academia videos every. About Wednesday, sometimes the Tuesday. Um, other than that, I guess I'm done seeing whatever stuff we put out. Sparky dog. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Yep, so later. Bye. See ya.